and then slowly plonks his ass back on the chair to talk about films and TV scripts. So this idea came up when we were when my brother came up came in to one of the films that I have to take him to go see this year. And there's a lot of them, trust me. But we're gonna talk about Nadal, what's your favourite film of all time? It's probably one of the favourites is Bad Boys just because Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. But is it Bad Boy 1 or 2? Because you know they're making a the third, right? Both. Both. So I prefer number 2. Mm. Only because of the fucking... The fight they have when they're fucking shooting up the, the drug place. And then Martin Lawrence is talking to all the dead guys. He's like, I'm gonna ask this guy, can you tell me what you want? Oh no, he dead. Yeah, well, number two is very, very good. See, my favorite film of all time. Oh, that's a, that's a tricky one. But, what is it with but? I think. It would have to be Tarzan. Yes, it's a Disney film. Don't at me like that. What? What do you mean, what? You've never seen Tarzan. <laughs> Careful what you say, young brother. Oh, Tarzan, come on, Sam. Sweet God! I have a brother who's autistic. Yeah. So I grew up watching a lot of Disney films. I get that. Yeah. I'm a big fucking. I'll I'll admit I love all the Marvel films, but none of them really stick out as one of my favorites. If I had to choose. X Men. X Men. Oh, Wolverine. Mm. Did you did you tell did I tell you? They're making another X-Men in there. Yeah, yeah, you said about it. July, I think. See with you see with June or July. One of the two, we're gonna go watch it. When it comes out <clears throat> and in two no three weeks. Unless, 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 unless. Um, you know, three weeks. Um, you, myself, you, myself, and Dill, hopefully, will be going to watch the new Avengers film. It is pretty cute. You know, you know what's crazy though? The guy who plays Hulk, he actually fucked up the end, the ending for the last one. So if you go back, if you go back, yeah, in um, in uh, interviews, he was with the guy who plays the other Iron Man, Don Cheadle, the black, the black, the black Iron Man, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So he was in an interview with him, and they said to him, "What happens, yeah?" And he says, "We'll die, yeah." And then Don Cheeto goes, no, 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 you're not going to say that. And he goes, oh, no, 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 only half of us. Mm -hmm. uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that, but if you've seen Avengers Infinity War, Thanos does the old finger snip snap, and he gets rid of half the population. He did and get rid of half the people. What was you going to say? That will be the film of the year. What do you think? Really? We've already have a film coming out. There are some bangers coming out. Talking of the films that are coming out, they've got some uh, they've got some amazing ones coming out. They've got live action Aladdin, they've got Detective Pikachu, which I'm quite excited to go see. Because I was a big Pokemon nerd. 
nerd. Um, I mean, most excited film as yet. It, it could very well be, yeah. There are. S yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Because there are some films that are, that are coming out, but they're just going to be trash. Fucking like, they're remaking Men in Black, for God's sake. See, I'm no, I don't want to go near that. It's, yes, it's DC. I'm a Marvel fan. Whatever, at me if you want. I was never into Batman, so I don't know the origins of Joker. And I don't, I don't think, unless you've been on the right side of evil Marvel, this like, admittedly, I went and saw uh, Wonder Woman when it came out. Very good film for a DC film. Uh, and then I wouldn't watch Justice League. Again, very good film. But if I was to choose Marvel or DC, it's Marvel all the way. Marvel have the better characters. You think you've got Iron Man, you've got Captain America, you've got Black Widow, you've got the Hulk. I mean, just that you've got the Hulk. Mm. No Thor, Hawkeye. Yeah, there's a lot of new films coming out. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, yeah. She will be appearing in the new Avengers film, Brie Larson. Did you watch it? Thoughts? No! I think, in a way, it wasn't really based on Captain Marvel. It gave more of a backstory to Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson, because you see him throughout all majority of the Marvel films, because he's in Captain America, he's in Iron Man, one, in one of the Iron Mans, he's in The Avengers, I don't know if he's in Thor. He created Marvel Agent. Yeah. So, it gave him... Yes, it was about Captain Marvel and how she got her powers, obviously. But it was also a backstory to Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson. And how he became, the, as he said, the creator of the Marvel Agents. And how... He lost his, he lost his eye. Which is... If you haven't seen Captain Marvel, watch it. It is fucking hilarious. Of how he lost it. <laughs> yeah, um, as as I pointed out, big. I'm a big, big Disney fanatic myself. So we already have we've already had Dumbo this year, but we've got Aladdin in May. We've got Toy Story four in June. In July, we have Lion King in August. My brother does not yet know about this one, but we have Maleficent 2. Angelina Jolie. Then the one with the horns. Yeah. There's a second one to that. So that comes out in August. And then obviously we have Frozen 2. Which they may well be introducing a gay a gay character or a secondary gay excuse me. Secondary gay character to Disney. The first obviously was Le Fou in the Disney live action remake. I can't wait till Space Jam to come out in 2021, I think. What's well, Space Jam 2? I'm skeptical about that. You know, if they were gonna do it, they should have done a second one with Michael Jordan. Why bring in Kevin Durant? Or LeBron James? Whoever he is. Why? You go from your childhood to now, you don't know what the characters are going to look like. With all the CGI coming out and everything, they're going to probably. They may change up the Looney Tunes and everything. They may change them completely. 
So I don't want them to do that. I want them to be original. Yeah. You know, if they don't come out, if they, if it comes out and they're all CGI and they're not like the original characters, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm not gonna watch. But yeah, and that sort of. There's a load of films coming out, and we're excited to go see. Obviously, the new X Men, Dark Phoenix comes out. There are a few more films. TV series. What's your favourite? So mine is... I'll talk about mine in a minute. I think power. You think power? It's been 50 cent. See, I'm still only on season three with power, so I do need to catch up mm, so much. But with power, it's kind of difficult to watch it during the day because uh, there's a lot of scenes of sexual nature. You will be shocked. I will be shocked. Well, I will watch at some point. My favourite TV <laughs> TV program of all time. Gotta be Game of Thrones. My dad is looking at me with such disappointment. Yet he hasn't seen a single episode. Comments get that little fucker. I don't know how you've not seen of all the years that it's been out, how have you not seen Game of Thrones? It's amazing. And the new season starts technically in three sleeps because it starts on Sunday in the US but us British viewers we have to wait fucking another day so uh, Monday I will not be on social media media at all because I do not want to see any spoilers that's the thing like with, with, a, with a show that is so damn popular like Game of Thrones or a power, when something bad happens, mm. it gets exploited everywhere. It's like, it'd be like, it exactly the same when Avengers comes out. Every fucker's gonna put that everywhere. That's gonna happen. This is gonna happen. If you haven't seen this, that's gonna pop up. So. Yeah, like. One of the biggest things is like news outlets show that they're gonna blast it everywhere, like the reviews on it, this and that. So if you don't see it early, or if you see like a TV, like if you get into a TV program late, like I did with Game of Thrones, I didn't watch it until a year ago, maybe two years ago. But I was always. I always got put, got caught off by it, by people like, oh, don't watch it, it's heap of shit, it's heap of shit. Same with my mum. My mum was like, oh, I've seen a couple of episodes, it's terrible. But then she and my dad sat down and watched the whole series together, and now they, now they love it. So, I think a lot of TV programmes and films are, we get influenced by what other people say. And that's a bad thing, you need to go... Like there's, a, like, there's a film that came out this year, The Green Book, okay? Trust me when I say this, it's so fucking racist. It is so racist. But it's about a black music, musician who goes on tour with an, with an Italian driver. It's one of the realest movies out now, but you wouldn't think anyone... You wouldn't think about going to see it. Because you see, you see The Green Book, what the fuck is that? You read like the the new information about it, and you're like, it's gonna be a heap of shit. But until you take a chance and actually go and say, I'm gonna go see this film, you never know what they're gonna be. Because like the power of social media is a strong, strong last thing. Because like someone could come, and, like, there could be so many reviews saying, there could be one review saying that this thing is good and then there could be five reviews saying that this thing is bad 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 
and you're gonna weigh up the options and go, oh, it's bad, I'm not gonna go, not gonna watch it. That's true. You never a book by its cover. That's true, yeah. I'll admit, like, Netflix is the biggest thing for that, like, there's a lot of things on Netflix that you look at and you're like, oh, it's gonna be a heap of shit. But until you fully start watching it, like, you would, the uh, that dark Daredevil, Punisher, Jessica Jones, all them. A lot of people put them down at first as, oh, it's another Marvel creation, it's gonna be rubbish. But, once you start watching it, it actually becomes a phenomenon and people start wanting more of it. And then it gets cancelled. <laughs> so I was pissed at that. <laughs> what about 13 Reasons Why? Oh, hmm. hurry up this year. 13 Reasons Why was one of the biggest TV programs that didn't get enough credit for helping with suicide prevention. Oh my fucking god. Season 1 was mad, season 2 was even madder. Like, it's just crazy how they went. They took this, they took this EEB program and then made it into like everyone wanted to know what was going on with the tapes. If you uh, haven't watched for any reason why and you have Netflix and you need, you need to watch it. It is out of this world. Amazing! Which we'll be talking about this topic more in later episodes. Yeah, and also we're going to be talking about Stranger Things. You know, season 3 comes out in uh, July. July. Yes. July 4th. So what me and the girl normally do is when we when we find a good series we normally binge watch the whole series. This is what we did with season two. <laughs> it was about oh god, it was about eight mm -hmm. about eight episodes, and then we're about forty five minutes each. The doll being the doll comes over late. Say I think it was about one, two o'clock. And then from two o'clock onwards to about nine, ten o'clock at night, we just watched the entire season of uh Stranger Things. But it was worth it. I am Black So. You are Black So. Yeah, if you if you don't know, apparently there's a thing called Black Time. <laughs> all people, all black people get get in, apparently. Us white people now we don't get that time. <laughs> it's intense, it's like seven seasons, but if you've got the time and you've got the effort to binge it do it. Uh, I'm currently binging uh, Supergirl. Again, very, very good. The, the Green Arrow, also very good. Flash. The very Flash. Good. The Flash, yeah. Uh, Flash is very good. Um, the, 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 what was he? Grim is quite good. It's all about the mythical creatures and stuff like that. So if you're into like a supernatural, Grim is a good one. Um, if you like the mag black lighting. Well, like the black lighting. Yeah. Never seen that. Uh, it's on Netflix, I know. But I've never seen it. Mm. It's currently going on to Netflix. Show me. Yeah, no, I've never seen the. Uh, there are some, th some things I, I do kind of like look at and I'm like, nee, no. Um, if you like magic, obviously, there is uh, the good old fashioned BBC Merlin. The old geeks out there. Love a bit of Merlin. What a fucking series on there that I've watched. See with me, I have to be, I have to be hooked by like the uh, the first or, first or second episode. Otherwise, I just I don't click click of it. And I was currently scrolling through my scrolling through Netflix. I 
But yeah, with me, like, certain films and then certain series that I can click with, I will not. Mm. One that I can watch over and over again is Criminal Minds. If you like the, uh, like CSI sort of things, like, what's that, Black Lightning? No. Bodyguard. Is he any good? Yeah? Oh, um, they love saying Bodyguard. Bodyguard, I have not seen it. I'm, I saw it advertised quite a lot. Especially on BBC One when it first came out. But I have yet to watch. Because as I, as I say, I do try and watch one series at a time. Otherwise, my head gets kind of caught up with what I am watching. It is very, very good. It is very, very good. Well, if you want a recommendation of thing to watch and you have Netflix, watch The Bodyguard. And yeah. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> An instant classic of all. The Russia. And you. And you. Oh, see, I still haven't finished you. I need to finish it. No <coughs> creepy. Joe, is it? Yeah. Guy's a widow. He's a, he's, obs- he's a guy that's obsessed with this woman. I know that much. Like Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> no, you just compared our friends to a sociopath. <laughs> you really think Josh would kidnap someone just to be <laughs> with this be with that girl? As you're thinking about it, yeah, he was gonna <laughs> he was gonna try and meet him up with a fair that day. So our good friend Josh, um, as we talked about in the past podcast, he had a thing for this lovely girl, and uh, let's just say she uh, didn't return the return the favor with the feelings. He's been hung, hung up on her for how many years now? Five years? Give or take? Quite a few years. But worse, sir. <laughs> but he won't go to the length of the guy in you, though. He wouldn't lock up some guy just because he's kind of. <laughs> another, but another instant classic for films? Rush Hour movies. Chris Tucker. Me! Me! There's a new one. Mm, they teased it the other day. So mm. gonna, yeah, 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 because it was Jackie Chan's birthday. Eh? And he, Chris Tucker went with Jackie Chan and they did number four. They were sold up four fingers. Mm. So, that one could be in the mix soon. Maybe next year or the year, year after. There's meant to be plenty of plenty of films coming out that are going to be like absolutely amazing, but like obviously Avatar 2 coming out next year. And then. Uh, what else are they bringing out? I know they're bringing out like a select number of films. What? And from one I don't actually know what. Did your thing stop recording? Mm-hmm. I was going to say. <laughs> do, you know what's, do you know what's really sad? Right, I don't know if you remember this film, but do you remember? Did you ever watch Su- Scooby Doo in the Cyber Chase? It was a game on the PlayStation 2 at one point. Which one? Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. It's an animated film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I <laughs> I recorded it the other day. I have it to watch. I was sitting there. And that's one of the things. Like back. So I love doing like mm-hmm. finding TV programs and then. Oh, the dogs happen. 
Cartoon Network. Mmm, yeah, I was a big Cartoon Network. <laughs> or Boomerang Man. Myself. <laughs> Love a bit of Boomerang. Looney Tunes. Hey, the Looney Tunes. Scooby Doo! Ed, Ed, Eddie. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, never watched. Didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. I'm at me, I know. What else did I watch? <laughs> Phineas and Ferb, I watched that. <laughs> you didn't watch Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Sweet life of Zach and Cody. Don't shake your hair, me. I am so raven. That's a raven, yeah, 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 of course. Mm. Wish you did a uh, fucking face when she realised she was going to have a vision. Mm. But did you watch Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Is that sweet love? Mm. Mm. And obviously the big one, Hannah Montana. Mm. <laughs> a little bit. <gasps> How did you not watch Hannah Montana? Mm. It's amazing. You got wife and kids? <laughs> the show. My wife and kids. Are you sure that was the show? The White Chicks Brothers. The one? Huh? Show me. The White Chicks Brothers. Oh, and Marlon and... Waylon, them guys. Yeah, I never watched that. It must be a black thing. <laughs> it was on TV. <laughs> you say it's on TV doesn't mean I watched it. There's a lot of things that was on TV, like Animal Planet. I didn't watch that shit. There's a lot of films I didn't hear. Mm. I'm trying to think, why else did I watch back in the day? Kim Possible? Kim Possible! What a recess. How, if you say you didn't watch recess, I'm gonna kick your ass. PJ, Spinelli, Gus, Mikey. Vince, Gretchen. Show me. I might remember. I'm recording. <laughs> you think you could me. Get on your own. Mm. <laughs> Just stop your recess. Mm. R E C E double S. It was a banging show. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, we will. And uh, I was related to uh, Gus from Recess. Such. Yeah? You know? Please, yes? Good. I was going to say, I was going to kick your butt if you didn't know. And that was, one of the, that was one of the things I used to watch all the time. There was another show that I used to watch. My god, it was about aliens. Not my parents are aliens. It was literally about like green aliens. I can't remember the name of it though. One of the biggest shows I used to watch when I was younger. When I was like a kid kid. But then again, I would watch it now. Bear in the big, big blue house. The dog smiling like, what the fuck is that? Bear in a big blue house. Uh. Welcome to the blue house. Ooh, I'm a small mouse. Things that do the for you.
I used to do my thing when I was, when I was uh, growing up. Love, and a big girls. I watched a few episodes. What about Totally? Do you remember Totally Spies? Huh? Totally Spies. No? We watched very. You watched mostly Cartoon Network. I mostly watched Disney. <laughs> I was very. Oh, you're black on what? <laughs> <laughs> Very diverse. Keenan and Cal. Keenan and Cal. Yeah, again, I didn't watch that. Uh, I didn't watch it. I watched Kerching. Kerching. <laughs> yeah, that was always a thing. Uh, bear behaving badly. Nev the bear. Uh, Come on. Uh, how did you know it was a legendary thing? I'm gonna search that later. Watch some episodes. Will I, was that girl just mounting in the other girl? Mm. No, it wasn't. Yeah. I'm trying to think what. There, was, there used to be so many things I used to watch. But as you get older, like, you forget them all. Rugrats was a good one. That was a legendary one, and uh, Tots TV! Johnny Bravo, yeah, yeah, I watched Johnny Bravo. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? There was quite a few, there was Johnny Bravo, there was um, Dexter's Laboratory. Mm. Yeah. There was obviously the big one, SpongeBob. What else was that? Obs Looney Tunes. Malcolm in the middle. Again, kind of watched it, kind of didn't. Wasn't a regular watcher of that one. Um, what do I think? Lizzie. Eh? Oh, Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, 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 yeah. They made a film about it as well. Yeah. That was very good, very good. What about Wizard Leo Waverly Place? Uh, Selena Gomez? No? Mm. Who even are you? Mm. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of films, a lot of TV programs we used to watch growing up. But if you, if you look at our TV programs and then look at what we watch now, it's very different. And the doll is like, Ooh. It's now more on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think we've, we kind of, at one, at one point we will discuss if YouTube, if technology takes us over, because if you kind of want to watch a video nowadays, it's mainly go to YouTube, watch whatever's on now. And then if you want to, you can watch a TV program. True. But, you know, that's life, I guess. Should we stop there? Yes, we can. Thank you, boss. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of this one. This one has been... A bit of a nostalgic one for us talking about programs. We will be back very soon from whenever we record the next one with a probably serious one. Goodbye. Bye. Hold on. Say it again.